Hey everyone, Eugene here with American Insurance Benefits and I wanted to talk to you for a quick second today about how to sign up for a Part D drug plan. A couple things that you would need when applying for a drug plan is you'll need a list of all the prescriptions that you're taking. You need to know the dosages, the amount that you get filled, and how often you get that prescription filled, as well as what pharmacy that you go to get them filled or if it's mail order. So you want to make sure you have all that and that way when you're speaking to an agent and representative you have all that information you're not digging for it. Once you have that information, you can do it one of two ways. You can either call them, call Medicare, 1-800-633-4227. It's also that number that's on your Medicare card. Tell them that you want to sign up for a Part D drug plan, and they'll ask you the information for the, uh, the different drugs that you're taking and the information that I told you. Now, when you're picking the drug plan, you don't want to look at the monthly premium, you don't want to look at the deductible. The one thing that you want to take into consideration and the most important part is the maximum out of pocket that you would have for the year on that specific plan. That includes your co-pays, that includes the amount of money that you would pay for premiums, and that would include your deductible. Now, uh, you can have a higher deductible, but in the end of the year, still pay less than some plans that have no deductible, but your copays might be higher to where you'll end up paying more. So it's just up to you and how you want to do it. Uh, I would never shop by the lowest monthly premium because there might be some medications that might not be covered in that specific plan or the copays are higher on that specific plan. So always shop by the lowest out of pocket to you for the year. If you were to do it yourself, I'm going to show you on my screen on how you can do it and uh, it'll just be a simple step-by-step -step instructions. So uh, on my computer, what I'll do is go to www.medicare.gov and in the middle of the screen what you'll notice here is you'll have Part D drug coverage and on the bottom it says find health and drug plans. So when you click on that the first thing it's going to ask you for is going to ask you for your zip code so 29464 Just click on find plans. You just tell them uh, that you're getting original Medicare if this applies to you and that you don't get any extra help. So uh, what that means is that you have Medicare A and B. You don't have a an advantage plan and I mean you should know by now what kind of benefits you have. So if you have an employer plan you don't need a Part D drug plan unless they specifically told you. I've never seen employer plans uh, tell you to get a separate drug plan. If you have an Advantage plan, your drug plan is already built into that Advantage plan, so you don't really have very many options uh, when choosing a drug plan on a HMO or PPO Advantage plan. Now, if you have Original Medicare and you've got a supplement, you will need a drug plan, so you want to put down Original Medicare and you will put down then you don't get any extra help and then you continue to plan results. And the next screen is going to tell you to input your specific medication. So I'm just going to put one common one here, which is lisinopril. And it'll tell you all the different options. So here I have lisinopril, HCTZ, or the regular. I'll just put down the regular one. A pop-up comes up. I'll tell them that I'm taking 5 milligrams. I take one a day, but I get a 90-day supply. So I put in that I get 90 pills every three months that I get it from a local retail pharmacy and I'll just add the medication and the dosage. So after you've done this you'll notice that the medication populates onto a list. This is your list specific to you and as you input more medications, so let's go to metformin let's say you do 500 milligrams you do 60 of them every month and you add that medication. So now I have lisinopril, I have metformin, add all your medications, just the ones that are pharmacy that you have a prescription for, that you go to the pharmacist to get. Now before you click my drug list is complete, write this down, very important here. You want to write down your drug list ID, your password date, and your zip code. This is very important because if you save this list and decide to come back at a later time or if you get confused and then need to call that number that I told you to call when I first started this video, 
Uh, all you have to do is give them your drug list ID, your password date, and your zip code, and they'll be able to pull up the list without you having to go through that at work all over again. So now when I click on my drug list is complete, I gotta pick my pharmacy. So let's say I get my uh, mine from, um, let's say Harris Teeter, and it's just a local uh, grocery store and drug store, and then I click on plan results. It's gonna tell me a few options. I can either get it a prescription drug plan with original Medicare. I have 22 options available. I can get it with uh, with an Advantage plan. That's what that means. Medicare health plans with drug coverage. You notice it's all combined, which is your advantage. There's six options there. Um, and then if you're looking at Advantage plans without drug coverage, you only have two plans available. In this specific zip code, I don't recommend it. But here we're talking about specifically being on Original Medicare. So you'd click the first option, Prescription Drug Plans with Original Medicare, and then you go on to uh, look at the plan results. And I'll tell you what you're looking at here. So the first screen is Original Medicare. Now this information is not up to date. It says that the standard cost for Part B is 104.90. We all know that went up. It's now 121.80. So that's a little bit different. The Part B deductible is still the same. And this just tells you what Original Medicare looks like. This is talking about your Part B Medicare. And if you continue down, the next one is Prescription Drug plans, you want to have it sorted by the total out-of-pocket for the year. It says here, estimated annual drug costs at, on the left cell of this um, spreadsheet. Then it talks about the monthly premium, the annual drug deductible, the co pay approximately what you'll have to pay, whether or not your medications are on the formulary, if there's any drug restrictions, if you notice here it says yes, and then what's the overall rating of the plan. Now here's what I want to show you. We got two companies here. We have one company, SilverScript. It's showing us a premium of $22 a month. And then you have Humana, Walmart RX plan. It's showing us a premium of $18.40. So some people think, well, it's $18 a month. I'm just going to go ahead and take this one. But wait a second. Look at this. The monthly premium on this plan is a little bit higher but the total cost for the year, which includes your copays and your premium, is cheaper than if you were to go with a plan that has a less monthly premium, the out-of-pocket will be higher. So you always want to shop by the lowest out-of-pocket cost to you. I wouldn't even look at the monthly premium or what the copays or what the deductible looks like. You just want to know what's the bottom line. The bottom line is the very left cell of this uh, spreadsheet. So let's say you pick a plan, let's say we decide to go with this uh, plan which is Silver Script Choice. When you click Enroll, it'll tell you to start the enrollment. And now this is the application process. Very, very easy. All you do is you, uh, you hit Continue Enrollment, that you're enrolling in 2016 plan, you click that you're new to Medicare, or if any of these follow you fall into any one of these, then you click on one of those, but this specific video is for people who are brand new to Medicare. You click the very first box, and then you hit continue. You just put in all of the information into the system, hit continue several more times. Then the last step that you'll have to do is you'll have to pick your payment information, whether you want it deducted from your social security check or if you want to have it deducted straight from your checking account, whatever is more convenient for you. Most folks do the social security check. Um, and that's really it. So uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can go on medicare.gov, you can do it yourself, or you can call 1-800-MEDICARE or 633-4227 and they can do it for you. If you guys have any questions about any of this, feel free to give us a call. My contact information is on the bottom of the video. Again, my name is Eugene and thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, go visit us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash American Insurance Benefits. I want to make sure that you're comfortable in the decision that you're making when you're first turning 65. Thank you. Bye.